Well, hi there, everybody. You're traveling with me, Jack, and of course, my beautiful heavenly wife, Pam. And welcome to beautiful Middle Tennessee on an absolutely gorgeous early September day. Temperatures are in the low 80s. The humidity is low, not a cloud in the sky. It could not be better. Now, obviously, you can see behind me here this big stairway right there. You may be asking, well, where in the world are you? I thought we were headed to a hiking trail. Well, we are, but just a couple of miles away from where our hiking trail begins, we saw a little detour to take, and it's here. These stairways are leading their way down to this. Yeah, we're right at the base of the Cordell Hole Dam, and this waterway goes in that direction down there to beautiful Cordell Hull Lake. And I tell you this because when you come out to the hiking trail that we will be checking, you're going to see big signs for the Cordell Hull Lake, or Cordell Hull Dam that is, observation area, and I don't want you to miss it because it's absolutely beautiful. And they've got these stairways like I have behind me there that actually allow you to walk right down to the water's edge. But of course, you want to be extremely careful because of course, when the gates to the dam are open, the water is very, very swift and this could be a dangerous spot. So keep that in mind, but do check it out. Now, yeah, we're here to check out some hiking. So stick around because just a couple of miles off in that direction, we're gonna check out what is said to be an absolutely gorgeous trail. And it's even got some decent elevation change. So we'll talk more about that in just a minute. So we're here. It's called the Bear Waller Gap Trail, Tater Knob Outlook. Gotta love the name, don't you? And I understand there's almost 11 miles of hiking here. That's going in and out. And up the hill over there too is a really nice overlook that you can go to before you start the, uh, the trail as well to get a nice view of the entire area, including Cordell Hall Lake. There's great parking here. They've even got restrooms. Yeah, flush toilet restrooms here at the start of the trailhead. Now, speaking of the trailhead, here's what we're looking at. Beautiful, lush and green, of course, because we're still not into cold weather yet as things are not yet, to, you know, the leaves aren't turning, anything like that. One piece of advice I would give you is I would spray something on your legs. If you're like me and wearing shorts, you don't want to get ticks. It's not so much mosquitoes we're concerned with, but there are still ticks out this time of year and you want to be extra, extra careful. So again, we'll hike a little ways down here on the Bear Waller Gap Trail. The Tater Knob Outlook is where we're headed. And from time to time, we'll stop and give you a look. But right now at the start of the trail, you can see it looks like it's been pretty well traveled. So that is good news. And uh, we'll give you an update here in just a couple of minutes. Again, we are on the Bear Waller Tater Knob Outlook Trail. Okay, we're back on the trail. We've gone maybe a mile, mile and a quarter so far. And I'm gonna give you a couple of suggestions here. Uh, you wanna have good traction shoes because this has been after some pretty good rains here. It gets a little muddy and slick and I'm pointing down to the actual trail. There you can see my feet. And you're gonna go down some pretty good little rocks here as well. You're also gonna to wanna to keep a watchful eye for critters in particular, those in the reptile family. Uh, you know me, I'm terrified of snakes. So far, I haven't seen one, but I have been told uh, this time of year, you can run across some here. But again, the trail as we got deeper into it did become a little more difficult to navigate. And I'm thinking probably in winter or fall when it's really dried out and a lot of the vegetation is gone, might be a better time to do this trail. Now, mind you, we're having a good time here today, but just showing you, you can see how we're actually losing the trail <laughs> where it is here. But it's there, and it is beautiful throughout the forest here. I mean, just some beautiful sights. You can hear the birds. Not hearing any cicadas today because it's uh, not as hot. It's a little cooler. But if you're looking to get away from it all, this is really a nice place to be. We'll maybe give you one more little update here in just a couple of minutes. Again, a really nice day to be out on the trails here in Middle Tennessee near the Cumberland Plateau. 
Okay, so I think we're going to call it a day here on the Bell, Bear Waller Gap Trail, Tater Knob Outlook, that is. We ended up going, oh, mile and a half, two miles in, so we ended up doing about three, four miles round trip. We could have kept going further, but I will tell you, the vegetation started getting really, really heavy, as you can see here. I mean, it's beautiful, but as I mentioned earlier, I really think probably fall and winter is going to be the best time to do this trail because of the heavy undergrowth that we've got here right now that we're seeing. But still, it's been a beautiful time. And before we get out of here, what do you say we go back up the hill there and we'll check out that overlook that I was talking about uh, because I haven't been there yet. It's just above the parking lot, but I certainly think we should check that out and uh, see what you think about that as well. Yeah, I'm back and we're not at the little overlook thing I promised to show you because I wanted to give you one quick update. As we were heading back up the trail to return to where we started, I wanted to let you know, you need to be in pretty good shape for this hike. I didn't realize till I was heading back that we'd been going downhill pretty much the whole time. So first time since I've been out west, I actually got a little winded on the trail here, but doing just fine, mind you. But keep that in mind too. And I probably should have mentioned as well, if you have little ones, this is probably not the best trail for them, okay? If they, they need to be at least probably 10, 11 years old. Any smaller than that, it's so rocky, there's so many roots and things like that, it's not going to be as friendly for them to hike as well. But just wanted to give you that little quick update as we're heading back up the hill here, as you can no doubt see. And again, here in just a minute or so, we'll show you that beautiful overlook I was talking about. Okay, so just so there's, so there's no confusion about this, the Bear Waller Gap Trail, that's what we were on earlier. Remember I talked about the Tater Knob Outlook or Overlook? Well, that's where we are now. They're actually separate, but they're both in the general vicinity. The trail's down the hill there. The overlook is up here. And the overlook is worth the extra little walk you're going to put in. It's perfectly fine to come up. It's paved, even if somebody is, say, uh, maybe needs a wheelchair or something like that. Yeah, you're gonna push them uphill, but it's nice and paved. And then the payoff is absolutely beautiful. You get a panoramic view across Smith County, Tennessee here. That, of course, being Cordell Hole Lake out there. And I estimate we're probably at about 2,500 feet in elevation. But an absolutely gorgeous place to come and enjoy the view. There's nice shade here to bring up a picnic lunch or something like that and just enjoy a beautiful fall afternoon like we're doing here. So again, we hope you enjoyed that little brief look at the Bear Waller Gap Trail and now the Tater Knob Outlook. And of course, as we always say, be sure and continue to subscribe to our channel. That's Traveling with Jack and Pam. And check out my podcast, The Jack Church Show, as well. Until we see you next time, have a great day. But better yet, make it a better tomorrow. And bye now from Tater Knob.